There are several ways to create text and annotations in SketchUp. The text tool will create basic on-screen text as well as annotations. Select the text tool, then click in a blank area of the screen. This opens a text dialog where you can type the notes you want to see, then click away from the notes when you're done to finish. This on-screen text has no relation to the model, so it remains the same regardless of how you orbit or zoom around your model. You can, however, move this text around the screen. For annotations, use the text tool. Click on an object in your scene, then pull away and click to place the text. This is referred to as leader text. By default, the text will give you information on the object you're pointing toward, such as the length of an edge, the area of a surface, or the name of a component. You can change this text at any time by using the Select tool and double-clicking on the text, then typing the information you need to display. You can also make text changes through the Entity Info dialog. Right or Context click on your text, then choose Entity Info. Here you can change the text, the font options, and how the leader arrow works. There are several options for the leader arrow to choose from. You can also hide the arrow or make it view or push pin based. View based text tries to stay oriented to your view relative to how it was placed. This method is best if you're going to export still images as the text can become obscured when orbiting as other objects get in the way. Push pin text actually acts as part of the model geometry and continually reorients relative to the model. This method is preferred for flybys or scenarios where you're doing a lot of moving around the model. All annotations are tied back to the model, so if you move surfaces around, the annotations will follow. You can also control how text looks and behaves in the Model Info dialog box. Open this dialog through the Windows menu, then click on Text to see some of the options. You can make changes to screen or leader text, and affect some of the same settings that are available through Entity Info, including the font, style, and sizing. For leader text, you can also give the text a real-world dimension. For this example, I will select only some of the leader text so you can see the difference. Select the text you wish to affect, then click on the Fonts button for leader text. This opens up the Font Options dialog. By default, Points is chosen for text size. Choose Height instead and enter some real dimensions. Hit OK, then click on Update Selected Text to make your changes. You can see that the text changes size, but compare it to the unchanged text as we zoom in and out. Because it has a real dimension, it appears smaller or larger. The other text is based on screen pixels, so it always stays the same size on screen. In this way, you have much more control over how text appears in your models. The final way to create text actually creates model geometry. Choose the 3D text tool and a dialog box appears. Type your text in the box and choose the settings for your 3D text, including the height of your text and how deep you would like the text to be extruded. Click to place the text and your 3D text is created, waiting for you to place it in the model. The text even orients itself to surfaces to make placement easy. The text is grouped by default, but keep in mind this is real geometry that can be further manipulated.